What's, uh, what sticks out the most about uh, tonight's effort? Um, I, until probably the last seven or eight minutes of the third period, I thought it was a pretty complete game for us. Again, similar to what we saw in Boston from the team. Um, and we had all sorts of contributions from different people, so that was something that was important too. Both sides of the puck too, and I'd imagine nice to get you know an early edge and being able to kind of build on it from there. Yeah, this this is a tough team. If you get behind on them, um, they make it really hard on you to get back into game. So it was nice to be able to score first. What about uh, when you look at the power play? I know you kind of touched on it briefly the other day, but um, you know you get another big one from them, and just uh, I'd imagine the confidence continues to grow. You know, with the puck in the offensive zone, when uh, when you've been able to see some results. I think it's starting to come. We've talked about that for probably a month now. Um, there's areas, of course, that you want to see cleaned up, like the shorthanded goals that we've given up. You just, at certain times in games, for, for that matter, ever, you don't want to see that happen. But they are starting to develop some chemistry where I feel like there's a little bit more of a threat consistently from them. Uh, and tonight, the goal they scored was a nice goal. They moved it around well, and um, that's that's what you need in order to win close games. How what have you thought of the team's identity revolves around your blue line? Um, a lot of it. I mean, we, I mean, early on in the year we weren't scoring; they were scoring. Um, now I feel like they're they're comfortable with how they or we expect them to play. Um, and there's a fine line between them getting too involved where they forget about what they have to do at the other end of the ice. But they're they're confident now, and there's three guys for sure. And eventually, I think you'll throw Oliver in that mix too. That. Um, they know what they're doing offensively, so when they get opportunities, they can score. What have you thought of Jonathan Huberto since December 31st? He's been a point per game player. Mm -hmm. He's been better. I mean, there's no doubt about it. And I, even when you look at him, he's a different different person off the ice now too. So I, I think that's just kind of um, you're seeing the same sort of thing with his play on the ice. I, there's a hungrier guy. Um, he's making more plays now, and and you see, like again tonight, he's a threat to shoot at times, which is another important thing for our team. What do you think is the reason for that? Um, you know, when you're an offensive player and things are not coming easy for you, um, you feel like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders. And he went for a stretch there where he didn't score or even put up a point for a long, long period of time. And it, it can be difficult coming to the rink because you know that um, you're paid to do a certain job. And as much as we remind him, there's other things that you do in those situations that help the team win. Um, part of his identity is to help us generate some offense. So. Um, when that's not happening, they take it personally. And once things have turned around for him here a little bit over the last little while, you're seeing some of that swagger come back in him. So I think that's the, the real big reason. Oscar goaltender is fantastic again, but yeah. I would imagine it's a bit of a roller coaster of emotions when you see him try for that empty net, doesn't go, and then all of a sudden he's under siege. You probably had complete confidence he was going to lock it down. Well, I, once they scored the second one, I, my gut told me he wasn't going to let anything in. Um, <laughs> But you worry about that at times. I mean, if you're going to hit it, hit it. It's kind of what we told them. You want to try that, but it's it's a tough one for a coach. <laughs> In-game coaching adjustments versus a coach that's been out of the league for a few years and only with this team for a few weeks. How do I go about it? Yeah. Um, it's mo mainly the, what we've done all year is focus on our team. So if we see something that isn't working for us based on what they're doing, we make, we make subtle little changes to our systems.